Yo guys, how's it going and welcome back today to a brand new video on the channel. I hope you've had a fantastic Christmas and a fantastic New Year. Um, as you can tell, I'm back here, back to the UK. Unfortunately, not in Australia anymore. Um, I still do have some Australia vlogs to come though. Um, but today, uh, we've just started the New Year, so I thought I'd bring out my... Uh, my the, th the thing that everybody's been doing, right? It's my 2018 goals video. So... I hope yourself had a um, fantastic Christmas. I hope you had a nice new year. Uh, I want you to put in the comment section down below your goals for 2018. Um, hopefully, after I've showed you mine, you'll get a little bit of inspiration. Um, I'm going to speak you through a little bit about uh, my goal setting process. Um, again, this isn't just financially. This isn't just business related. I've got a few things on here health wise, travel wise uh, and all that good stuff. So um, if you're excited for this, go grab yourself a drink, uh, sit down. This is probably going to be a bit of a longer one because uh, there's quite a few goals here and I want to speak you through it all. And another thing is this video isn't just for you guys. This is also for me. Um, it's going to be pretty awesome come the end of 2018 uh, when I'm sitting here in a year from now, 2019 January, making another goals video. It's going to be interesting to see um, the goals we hit, what we didn't hit, and uh, what we've managed to achieve. So um, let's jump into it. As you can see guys, I'm here on the PC. I've made a little uh, PowerPoint presentation. This is the first for the channel. I don't I think I've done this before with a PowerPoint. Let me know if you like this type of video um, and then we might incorporate a few more PowerPoint presentations into the videos. But again, because this is quite a big video, uh, I thought I'd do it for you guys. So as, as you can see, my 2018 goals. So because this is a business channel, uh, obviously first things first, we're going to jump straight into the financial uh, monetary goals. Um, just before we actually, you know, you can see the figure there, right? Straight off the bat, £250,000 is my goal for this year to earn, right? And this is profit as well, guys, right? Um, it's quite nuts sitting here right now and saying this because I started my business in April. So April 2017, uh, right at the start of the month. Um, I started my business. Now, before I got my first client or anything like that, my main goal, like more than anything in the world, I just wanted to make a thousand pounds a month. Uh, I was willing to work 80 hours a week for it. I literally didn't care. Uh, as long as I made enough to be classed as sort of like a full term, a full time minimum wage job, so I could work from home, right? I worked a crappy job just in like a supermarket. I hated it, right? Minimum wage. So I would do, I literally would have done anything to get out. So, you know. A thousand pound a month is twelve thousand pound for the year, and now I'm sitting here only a few months later saying, you know, this year I want to earn a quarter of a million pounds. Uh, yeah, it's quite nuts, really. Uh, again, I'm doing everything in pounds here because obviously I'm from the UK. This is my currency. If you want to understand what the conversion rate is, just go ahead and Google it. But I think it's something along the lines of about three hundred and fifty thousand um, dollars. You know, and even fast forward then, you know, from when I first started my business and I, you know, I, the first month I hit, I already earned way more than a thousand pounds and I was like, damn, you know, you know, the potential's here. I'll put my heart and soul into it. And after that, I was like, you know what? I think this was around summertime. I was like, you know what? I've been doing business for a couple months now. I'd be so happy if next year I could earn 50,000 pounds. I'd be like, you know what? That's so much money. Like for the UK, I was a uni student. Um, an average graduate job comes out at like 19, 20 grand. Uh, a good graduate job is like 21 to 24k. So 50 grand. And like this is like in the UK, this is like the peak of people's careers. Unless you maybe work in London, like the peak of your career is like 45, 50k a year. And like my goal was to make 50k. So I was like, that's such a huge goal. I wonder if I can do it. And I'm now sitting here at the beginning of the year, confidently saying, I think I'm going to. I've got a plan in place which I'm going to show you. And hopefully my goal is for the year to hit, you know, quarter of a million pounds. It's, you know, quite nuts really to see how far we've come. But, um, you know, I'm going to speak you through uh, all of this now. Break it down for you. Make it make more sense. Um, obviously, I'm not doing anywhere near that amount yet. But you'll see as the year goes across um, and as we progress. And as this video goes on, I'm going to show you how I plan to do it. Um, and just to put it here, obviously I pay tax. Uh, tax in the UK is about 40% for my tax bracket. Uh, minus national insurance, all that other stuff, I should be taking home about £143,000 of that if I was to make 250k. That's not bad. You know, that's money in my pocket, that's money I can spend. That's not bad. My current living expenses are way below that, so that would be a nice little uh, income for me. So, as you can see at the bottom of, uh, bottom of here, you can see, you know, all the way through the year, I've split it up, right? Obviously, this is saying January, zero pounds. Obviously, you guys know I'm not 
going to earn zero pounds this month. Uh, as it currently stands, it could be a little bit more, but I think I'll probably make roughly £6,000 this month. Uh, it'll be my biggest month in entrepreneurship yet. Uh, it'll be a nice way to start the year, but I should make around 6 k this month, pounds. I've put zero at the beginning. Now, this isn't my goal, okay? I, I wasn't putting this at the bottom here to just say, this is my goal, is to make zero pounds this month. I already make more than that. If I made zero, I'd be distraught, right? This is to just break down over the year... Um, how much month to month I'd have to be making on average to hit that 250k mark. So, you know, 0, 4,600, 9,200, and then 11,7, it, it basically increases by two and a half thousand pounds each month. So, come December, um, December will have to be a big month at uh, 45,000 pounds. Now, that seems right now, if you think about it, like nuts, right? It seems nuts to be thinking, whoa, you know, like I want to be making 45,000 pounds in December. Right now, I'm about to make six grand this month. Like, how are you going to make that jump? Well, I will show you, okay? And I will break it down for you um, on the next slide. So, we'll get to that. So, what are my current income streams? As you all know, uh, if you follow the channel at all for a while, uh, my main income stream currently is social media marketing. Uh, I've got several clients that play me, uh, pay me on a retainer basis every month. Um, I've outsourced most of that work. Well, 99% of that work now. Uh, however, I still have the clients, I manage them and everything, so um, that's my main source of income. Uh, as well as that, we've got coaching. Uh, I've got some coaching students and plan to get a lot more as we go into the new year. Uh, digital products, again, I've recently just released my ebook. I haven't even promoted it yet. If you want to check it out, link's in the description, by the way, but uh, it's only a very low ticket item. Again, uh, when I say digital products here, I'm speaking, you know, courses, training programs, uh, and things we'll get into later down the later down the line. Um, again, I've spent thousands and thousands of pounds this well, in 2017 on coaches, courses, books, mentors. So um, I've got a lot of information up here, uh, and from the coaching and the value I've been able to provide people, I know that uh, I'm going to be able to help a lot of people by putting that into obviously a lot cheaper into a digital product. So that's a plan going forward with the personal brand. Uh, not imminently, not imminently, uh, further down the line, but this is, you know, 2018's 365 days in the year. Uh, we've got a long time. So, and then affiliate marketing. And at the bottom here, you can see funnels. I'm not going to get too much in detail about funnels. I think I'll probably do a whole nother video on this, but I haven't included funnels as an income stream for my goal of 250k. Now, the reason for that is, firstly, I'm going to need digital products, right? But the way a funnel works, if you're familiar with click funnels and um, you're basically marketing digital products at, products at all uh, and webinars and things like that. Basically, again, this is a whole other video. I don't want to get the, the video isn't based on this, but if you can find a way to run a profitable ad, um, you know, that takes people to a webinar and then convert them to buy your course. If you can convert, you know, make, you know, the cost per sign up and everything and, the, you know, for them to finally go through and buy. If you can find a profitable ad and, and profitable webinar and everything, it just comes to a case of the more money you put in ads, the more money you take out, right? So the reasons I haven't included this in this goal is if I can find, you know, once I've got my course up and everything, if I can find a profitable funnel, my income for the year could potentially shoot way past 250k, right? But if I don't, get that profitable funnel, then it's not going to make a blind bit of difference. It's, it's kind of like an all or nothing kind of thing, right? I either make a ton of money because I can find a profitable ad and I put loads of money into it. Uh, it's just a case of the more money you put in, the more you take out. So I'll chuck loads of money into ads and get more money back. Again, this is really watered down for people who understand funnels. You know it's more in depth than this, but again, this isn't a video on that. So the reason I haven't inc uh, included it, long story short, is because by including it, it makes my goal seem super unobtainable. Like I think we'll see on the next slide. I think it's like if I can find a profitable funnel, I could earn upwards of like 500k next year. But if I don't, then it's just going to earn me no money at all. So I haven't even included that. So we'll just leave that as that. But that is a potential income stream for me going into next year. So the income breakdown. This is the breakdown month to month uh, from my current situation pretty much all the way up to December, how I'm going to do it, the different income streams, how much money I think I'm going to be able to make um, if I stay consistent with it month to month. I've literally, guys, made a whole plan on what I need to do every single day. And if I do it, if I do it without fail every single day, the things that I've planned, I sh something would have gone, something would have gone terribly wrong if I don't, if I don't hit this goal for the year. 
So, if you look at the bottom, right, I've got total at the bottom, you can see that's 542k. Now, obviously, like I said, that's including funnels. So, I want you guys to pay most of the attention here to the one above that, which is the total without funnels. So, from what I think I can do, actually here, it's 311,000, right? I haven't set my goal at 311,000, because like I said, if you shoot for the stars, whatever, you land on the clouds still. If all goes to plan, I'll actually earn 300k this year, but my goal is to earn a quarter of a million. I think I should do that quite comfortably. So, Again, pay attention more so to the, the total of our funnel line as opposed to the total. We'll cover some funnel stuff again in another video. So, here we've got January. So, my goal this month is to earn £5,000, right? Again, I want you to pay attention to not the bottom line, the one above that. £5,000 is the total without funnel. So, where does that money come from? As we've spoken about the income streams, coaching, social media marketing, digital products, and uh, funnels and affiliate marketing. So, social media marketing agency, three and a half thousand this month, coaching a thousand this month, digital products, 500, affiliate marketing and funnels, none, right? I'm not going to break it down how much I'm earning from everything. Again, we can do income reports as we go throughout the year. I'll keep you guys updated every single month on what I'm earning, what I'm bringing in. I'll show you guys proof because I know that you guys like that kind of stuff. But for now, like I said, this month I'm hoping um, I should bring in... It may be a little bit more, but again, I'm just going to be conservative. I should bring in £6,000 this month, which means for January, um, if I don't grow any more from now, uh, I've already reached my goal for the end of the month, which is good, right? I'm not going to break down coaching digital products too much. As you can see uh, with the coaching, it's consistently throughout the year. Um, £1,000 for January, Feb, up to £2,000 March and April, May, June, July, up to £3,000 in August. To be completely honest with you guys... Um, I think I'm going to make more than a thousand pound this month alone in January on my coaching. So especially come, you know, February, March, I think I'll probably, these numbers are quite low. I think I'll probably make more money than this, but I want it to be conservative. I want it to be realistic guys. All right. Um, if I lowball, I'm only going to earn more, right? So this is how much I plan month to month. Think about it as the year goes on, as you know, I put more time and effort into my personal brand and it grows. I'm going to get more people interested in coaching. As I earn more money throughout the year, I'm also going to learn more, do more courses, do more coaching and mentoring myself. I'm going to be able to charge more. So not only am I, am I going to be able to charge more for my coaching, I'm probably going to have more interest, which means as the year goes on, uh, hopefully in December, I should earn about £5,000 from coaching. Again, it could be a lot more than that, uh, but these are just round figures, which I think are obtainable. Again, like I said, it could be a lot more than that, um, but you know, obviously the jump up from 1000 a month to 5000 a month, for 12 months, for what, you know, I think it's quite realistic. Then, the top one, social media marketing agency. Now, I want to break this down, like, with the digital products and funnels and affiliate marketing, you can see all the numbers there, you can take a look. Um, you know what, quick, so what, quickly, I'm just going to touch on digital products. Um, as you can see, December, £13,000 from digital products, uh, and this month, 500 I don't know if I'll hit the 500 this month, but I really think come December, £13,000 is so low-balling it. I'm going to put so much money and time and effort into ads and my personal brand this year. I want it to take main focus over everything. Since doing coaching over the past month or so, I've really, really, really realized how much it fulfills me to help people. Um, and I love the idea of uh, becoming well known and becoming an influencer. I, li I like that idea, right? So personal brand is something that I'm really doubling down on this year. So £13,000 in December from digital products. I mean, picture it this way. If I have a just say come then I have nothing but I only have one course right just say I only have one course which is a 500 pound course all I'd have to make is a sale a day in December to make 13,000 pounds now I'm going to put a lot of money and time and stuff I'm hoping you'll see my goals later on this video but I'm hoping to hopefully be at around 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year just say you know what you're telling me that one person a day might not buy a course like it's Look at people like Tanner uh, Fox, how much he made from his courses. Look at other people. Uh, you can make a lot of money from digital products. So I think the digital products is really lowballing it. But I want to be realistic, guys. Like, if I put it there and plan it there, just say it all goes to crap. You know, I can still hopefully stay consistent with these numbers. And you know what? I might not make 500 this month from digital products because I might not release any. Maybe not in February. But in March, the number might be higher. So uh, I think it's quite fair to say that amount. Affiliate marketing, 
Again, I might get bigger into it. Right now, it's not something I plan to do hugely. So I've just made a little, you know, two to five hundred pound a month on average, just consistently throughout the year. So, like I said, my main focus on explaining to you is the social media marketing because that's where majority of the income on this income break breakdown actually comes from. In all honesty, come the end of the year, I feel like personal brand will probably be the majority of my income, right? A, because I enjoy doing it more, it's more fulfilling for me. But also because the potential to grow quickly is with a personal brand. But, like I said, I want to keep things realistic. So on here, the, the main income stream is the social media marketing agency. So as you can see, um, starting in Jan, £3,500. Um, going up to, well, I'm already earning more than that from my agency actually. But, you know, let's just say, you know, into February, £6,500. So... Consistently, every month from February until December, it jumps up two and a half thousand pounds. Now, let me just tell you something, guys. And although I'm saying 250k now, and it seems like such big numbers, even compared to what I'm doing, or you know, compared to what you might be doing right now, think of it like this. And this is why I keep saying I think I'm lowballing everything. Unfortunately, um, my nan passed away earlier this year. Right around, it was in November. My nan passed away. September, October time, I was really putting everything in place, outsourcing all of my business, right? So early November, I spent, all my business was outsourced, so I was like tripling down on client acquisition. I managed to get two and a half thousand pounds worth of recurring clients within the space of a week, okay? Just doing one strategy that I can replicate over and over and over again every single day. I did that within a week right and again the reason my agency isn't bigger now is unfortunately at the end of november my nan passed away and you know she was like one of my best friends i was so close to her it ruined me right thankfully uh, i haven't lost any clients or anything in that period but i plateaued my business plateaued because obviously family are more important than anything for me anyway at least and i had to be there with them i was a bit ruined business wasn't main priority for me i had things to do like yeah i was i was with my family right I, and it was a hard time for me so my business plateaued, okay, it plateaued. Come December, end of December, um, you know, I went to Australia, I had a fantastic time in Australia, got back, then it was Christmas and New Year's. Um, and then over the past week, I've just really started implementing that again. Guys, within a week, I literally landed two clients yesterday. I'm in, conv oh, by the way, just to put out there, the 6,000 pound I'm gonna earn this month doesn't include the two new clients I've got. So if anything, it's actually gonna be a lot more than that. I haven't even thought of that, actually. Um, I got two new clients yesterday. I'm sending a proposal after this video for another client. I'm in conversation, guys, with 10 other potential clients within a week, right? So are you telling me that if I did that, you know, obviously before my nan passed away and everything, I managed to get two and a half thousand pounds of new clients, you know, recurring in a week. So I said, you know what? Let's just say I do that not even within a week, right? Let's say I just did that every month consistently. Do you think that that's realistic? Because I do, right? I really honestly do, and if anything, I'm lowballing it. it. Realistically, because I outsource all my work, once I get the client, obviously I outsource it, and again, I'm free to do more client acquisition, right? I've got a lot more time now to focus purely on that, which is why two and a half thousand pound a month is very obtainable for me. So, you know, if you look at February consistently all the way through to December, you know, two and a half thousand pound a month consistently takes you up to that £31,000 a month mark. Now, obviously, some months I'm going to lose clients, but that's why I said, you know, um, £2,500 a month as opposed to weekly. You know, if I said, you know, £2,500 a week of new clients, like, realistically, I'm going to lose clients, so I'm not going to get that every single week. But monthly, I feel like that's possible. So, if you look from February all the way up to December, consistently adding two and a half k worth of new clients every single month, and that takes you up to uh, a grand total with all of the other stuff minus the funnels, £311,000. So just say I did 60 grands worse than that, right? Like I'd have to, I'd have to do £60,000 worse than that. These obtainable broken down goals that I've spoken to you about, I'd have to do 60 grand worse than that, which is, what is that? F I'd have to do on average £5,000 a, a month worse than everything that you see on this here for me to, st and I'd still reach my goal, right? So I know this has been a long part speaking about the income. Um, I can do a whole other video on actually how I broke it down a bit more in detail, but 
I just want to show you guys, it's such a, a 250k sounds like a lot. For me, I still look at 250k, although I'm making nowhere near that right now, I still look at that amount of money and think, you know, you look at someone like Ty Lopez pulling in six, seven million a month, you know, four, five, six million a month. I'm making 250k a year, it's so minimal. But compared to what I was used to six months ago when I was working a dead end job for a thousand pound a month, this seems so big. So I know a lot of you guys will look at these numbers and be like, you know, you're saying you're going to make a quarter of a million pounds, but you're not, you're making six, six, six and a half K a month or whatever. How are you going to plan to make that? Like this guys, like I said, um, if it wasn't for my now passing away, I, I could almost put my life on the fact I'd probably be on 12 to 15 K a month right now. Um, but for me, it was so much more important to go and deal with that. Um, and be with my family in that hard time. But going into this year, um, you know, I'm gonna make my man proud, I'm gonna make everyone proud, make myself proud, and I know what I'm gonna do it. So for you guys, I know I've been ramping on about income a lot. It's only because this is a business channel. Um, and obviously people say that money's not important or but people that everyone who says that doesn't have any, right? Money can buy money money doesn't correlate to happiness, right? Having more money in your account doesn't make you happier. But it means you can do the job you love. It means you can travel the world, buy nice things for your fr friends and family, have no money stress, guys. So it is important, all right? And I just want to make that clear. Like, if you've got big income goals, break them down, make it obtainable. Don't just say, I'm going to make a million pounds this year and have no way to get there. Break it down. Like, you know, it's really possible um, if you choose the right vehicles. So uh, one thing, if you guys want any help on how I plan to, you know, and how I actually managed to get two and a half thousand pounds you know, in that week of new clients and how I plan to consistently do it throughout the year. Um, you know, I am taking spots in my coaching right now, so drop me a message below or shoot me an Instagram DM if you're interested and I'll uh, be more than happy to help you out. Right, so now that the big main bit of this video is covered, let's talk about business goals. So I'm just gonna shoot through this nice and quickly, but I wanna make sure that 100% of my business is completely automized and outsourced, right? Right now, I'd say it's about 95% outsourced. I wanna make sure it's 100% outsourced and obviously I'm gonna have more clients. I don't wanna be doing the work myself. It, I don't wanna, like again, I don't wanna be doing any time for money work, apart from coaching, because that really fulfills me. Uh, I don't wanna be working on my clients' accounts. It just, I, I don't wanna do that, right? So I want it to be completely 100% automized and outsourced. Second goal, uh, have a variety of digital products released, courses, eBooks, training programs. Like I said, I've just started up my coaching this past month and it fulfills me so much. Uh, I spent thousands of pounds myself on coaching, books, or you know, courses. I've got a lot of information up here. Um, where obviously, I've spent so much money on it. I'm able to teach it to others at a fraction of a price in a course, uh, especially some of the social media marketing stuff that I've got. Um, I've got plans to release digital products later in the year. Uh, not imminently, uh, but especially later on in the year. Um, so that's one of my goals. Have recurring affiliate revenue from SaaS products. I'm not huge on affiliate marketing. Uh, however, um, I know it's a good source of income, especially if, you know, if I actually use the programs and recommend them myself. Like for me, I'd more than happy recommend, um, what's it called, ClickFunnels because I use it. I'd recommend Hootsuite, Sprout Social because I use it. Um, I'd never sit here and say, I want you to take this course. I'm an affiliate for it and I've never done it myself. That's stupid. Uh, but you know, if you can make a bit of money off the side, uh, especially SaaS products, which are recurring monthly, why not, right? Uh, have a profitable coaching business with awesome testimonials and student successes, including people on my high ticket program. So, I love coaching. Like, I know, like I said, it's a direct correlation from time for money. And maybe the more that I do it, I I'll fall out of love for it, but I don't think I will. I love helping people. That's something I've come to realize and why I really want to push personal branding this year. Helping clients out on their Facebook pages and their ads and stuff like that, it's all right. Like it's, it's, it's a good job to do compared to working in a shop like I used to. But really fulfilling me is like when I can actually help students and people quit their job and get new clients and earn more money. For me, that's really fulfilling. So I really want to get some awesome testimonials, some student successes. Um, it's more fulfilling for me. And it's quite, you know, I'm not, I'm doing it for you guys, right? But I'm also doing it for me in a selfish way because I like you guys achieve and it makes me feel like I'm helping people and doing good in the world. So that's really something I want. And again, uh, you know, have some success stories, a portfolio from my coaching students and my agency clients. Like 
Obviously, I prefer it from coaching students, but it is quite nice, you know, when you get your clients, like agency clients, message you saying, you know, fantastic job this month, or, um, you know, you've really changed my business around, like my social media has skyrocketed since we've worked together. Things like that, like, it does make you feel good. Um, so, some, you know, I'm not going to complain if I get more testimonials like that. We touched on funnels earlier, you know, find a profitable funnel and then scale it up. Uh, if I can find a profitable funnel, again, that's going to be a game changer this year financially. Obviously, I've got to create the digital products first and create a product that I know works and that I believe in. Uh, from then, I can set up a funnel. Russell Brunson actually said recently that if he had to become a millionaire and he was dead broke and he had to become a millionaire in the quickest way, he'd set up several profitable funnels, right? He'd set up a funnel, find it profitable, um, put loads of money in the ad spend, max out pretty much as much as he can do, and then create another product and push it through a funnel. He said that, he for him, that's the quickest way to become a millionaire. Um, so obviously, you know, if I can find one profitable funnel uh, and, and a course that I believe in, uh, like I said, I've taken loads of other courses. I've got a lot of information up here and stuff to offer you guys. Um, and you know, it wouldn't be to you guys because it would be to cold traffic through Facebook ads, but I'd like to set up in maybe another course or something like that. And as long as it was valuable enough, uh, run ads to it and set up a second, third, fourth profitable funnel. Obviously that goal comes off of finding the first profitable one. I've got a lot of learning to do. So, um, you know, who knows if we're going to do that or not. And then only do work that I enjoy and love. At the beginning of the year, I took on crappy clients, clients I hated working with. I did some video editing jobs which I hated. I'm only going to do jobs that I enjoy doing now, clients that I want to work with, students that I want to work with because it just makes my life so much easier. Money's good but when you add money um, your health and your happiness levels become uh, a priority over that. So then let's hop into some other things. So like I said this year I really want to take my personal brand serious and my online growth. I'm going to put a lot of money, uh, I want to run ads to my YouTube channel, run ads to my Instagram page. I really want to triple down on this so much because, um, you know, one of my big goals is, you know, it sounds quite, you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I want to be, I, this, I'm 100% transparent with you, right? You know, hence the fact I spoke, you know, obviously when my nan passed away, I want to be completely honest with you on here, right? I don't want to bullshit you at all. I want to be honest, right? One of my big goals I don't like the idea of becoming like super famous, like Justin Bieber, like that's too much. I wouldn't, I'd hate that, right? You don't have the freedom. But the idea of like influencer, like YouTube famous, you know, famous in the bit like Grant Cardone, Ty Lopez famous, I, that's really attractive to me because I like the idea of as soon as you're well known, you've got more presence, right? You can naturally surround yourself with other well known people. You see, Ty's always around successful people. He's he's around. He was with Kevin Kevin Hart the other day. You know, he's with with The Rock, with all these other cool people, right? I like the idea of that. I also like the idea of walking down the street and someone coming up to you saying, like, you know, you've changed my life. Like for me, I really want to make an impact on as many people in the world as possible, right? Obviously, haters are going to come with that, but I really want to. I want to get myself out there and help as many people as possible. And if that means putting money into ads, like I, I, I would do that, right? I'll put money to, I really want to triple, quadruple down on that this year, right? So uh, my first goal for this year is 10,000 YouTube subscribers. Obviously, that's not the kind of Ty Lopez level we were talking about. Um, but you've got to understand right now I'm at 200 subs. Obviously, I have another YouTube channel, which I reached, I got to about 17,000 subscribers. I've got experience in growing a YouTube channel. I know how to do it. So uh, that should be fine along the side of ads. I think that's very realistic to do. Um, like I said, obviously that's not at the Ty Lopez, Gary Vee, like, you know, million subscriber level yet. But guys, a personal brand is long term. You know, I'm 23 years old. I've got the rest of my life ahead of me, right? Um, so 10,000 subscribers this year would be nuts. And 50,000 Instagram followers. The reason I put more Instagram followers than YouTube subscribers is because, well, a couple of reasons. A, it's easier to get Instagram followers than YouTube subscribers, and B, when you run ads, it's naturally cheaper to get Instagram followers than it is YouTube subscribers. Um, so I, again, I just naturally put more YouTube subscribers, no, more Instagram followers than YouTube subscribers. I'm not too fussed about Facebook, Twitter, all that other stuff. Facebook, uh, maybe that'll change, but as of now, Instagram and YouTube are my main two. Uh, in, in regards to views, quarter of a million YouTube views, that's what... Seven, eight hundred views a day. Right now, I'm doing nowhere near that. But as I start to run ads to my videos, and do you know, it's so hard because tomorrow I could get a viral video that hits that, but the chances are I won't. So I'm putting 250k in there as if I don't get any super viral videos. 
Um, obviously that number could be quite low balling it if I, tomorrow I upload a video that gets half a million views. So um, you'll never know. And then uh, an average subscriber worth of $15 to $30. Um, I know, I think, um, I think Tanner came out with a video saying his average subscriber worth is like $34. Um, I lowballed it, said if I could get mine to $15 to $30, that would be amazing. Uh, and when I say subscriber worth, I mean, you know, from the coaching that I offer, the digital products, um, affiliate marketing, on average for every subscriber I get, that brings me in that amount of money. Uh, I know if you can do the maths, 10,000 subs, uh, you know, just say mid it, 25, that's quarter of a million dollars, which is like my goal, any well, pounds, which is my goal anyway. So, obviously... I haven't worked that out very well like that, but again, I just want to lowball things because I might not hit everything. I, I wanted to have my monetary goals like as I am right now, as I can see it consistently month to month. Travel. So, I want to take my girlfriend to Venice, Italy for her birthday last year. I promised her that I'd take her to Venice, Italy. Back then, I just started my business after the first couple of months. It was going well, um, but not well enough to be able to fork out and really I want it to be a really nice trip as well I don't want to just go and stay in some basic hotel like I really want to take it there for like a solid week um, I'll pay for absolutely everything I want us to stay in like a five-star hotel you know like in a nice place like over like balcony views like I want to make it really special um, so at some point this year I want to do that spend at least one month of the year in another country again I'm not sure when or where I'll be doing this we might be going away for a couple of weeks in February um, Again, usually I like travel a lot more than this, but I'm actually planning a whole year traveling the world in 2019. Um, I want to really grind out my business, focus on uh, focusing on my business this year, so then next year maybe I can relax a little bit more and go out and travel. So this year's the year of like really grinding it out, uh, building up my businesses and my personal brand and stuff, uh, and next year's the year for proper travel. But I still want to spend at least a month out of the year traveling. Um, again, countries I like to visit, obviously, like I mentioned, Italy, and then Japan, Mexico, and Philippines. This might change. Uh, depends where my girlfriend likes to go, if I get invited anywhere with my friends or any of that good stuff. I might go to none of these places, I might go to all of them and more, who knows. But these are just some that are on my list to, to visit. Health and fitness. Um, this isn't just health and fitness, this should have been self-improvement and health and fitness. Uh, I'm just going to speed this up here now because this video has gone on way too long. But I want to do at least one course per month. I want to, you know... All of these things in the uh, below here now, the meditation, weight training, sauna, cardio sessions, journals and planners, multivitamins, juice uh, and drinking the water. Th those are pretty much all within my morning routine. I want to do all of that at least five days a week. So as you can see, three heavyweight training sessions three times a week and then um, two sauna and cardio sessions. Uh, do that Monday to Friday. Uh, meditations every morning, journaling every morning, uh, Monday to Friday. Take my multivitamins and my green juice uh, or my like wheatgrass shots, things like that every morning. Uh, drink two to four litres consistently throughout the year. Uh, previously, I've gone through stages of drinking like loads of water and then I'll go for weeks on end of just drinking like a cup a day. It's not good. I need to stay consistent with it. And then I want to book a fitness challenge. So something like a 10k run or a tough mudder challenge. Something that will just push the boundaries a little bit and give me something to strive towards when I'm in the gym uh, working out. Other, um, this is the final slide. I'd like to have £100,000 cash in savings. So... I know a lot of people say like, you know, if you have loads of money in the bank, you're a bad businessman or, you know, why don't you invest that money? A lot, you know what, I'm going to put a lot of money into ads and into my business, right? That's going to give me a better return on investment, especially if I can find profitable funnels. I'm going to be putting a lot of money into that, right? You've got to understand, even if I make quarter of a million pounds, that's 143k. My current lifestyle, like, I don't spend anywhere near 43k a year, nowhere near. Like, I should hopefully be able to comfortably, even after ad spend and things like that, um, have £100,000 cash in savings. Now, why do I want that? Guys, like, I want to have money in the bank savings. I want to, um, you know, from, once I've got 100000 in savings, from then I'm going to dabble in different investments and in real estate further down the line, stocks and bonds. I want to have that money in savings secure. I also, don't forget, I want to be going traveling in 2019. I want to have some money behind me as well. I know I'm going to be earning whilst I'm out there. I want some money behind me, all right? I don't want it all tied up in investments and things like that. Like I said, I am going to be getting into that, especially into 2019. Uh, this year, I just want to keep the cash. Again, call me stupid. It's just something that I really want to do. Maybe that'll change. I just like the, I like the idea of having 100000 in the bank, solid, in case anything ever goes wrong. Um, and then, uh, plan my around-the-trip uh, around the world trip for 2019 
Um, spend more time with my mum and my dad and my family. I haven't spent as much time this year as I've wanted to with them. Um, I've moved to live with my girlfriend. I've not been able to drive. I've literally just passed my driving test. Getting back was a nightmare. I've been building my business. I, like, I moved across the country. Like All this other stuff. I haven't spent enough time with my family that I've wanted to. This year, that is 100% going to change. Work less, live more, and work smarter, not harder. Guys, smart work is everything. I don't want to spend days grinding, doing pointless crap this year that I did at the beginning of the year. The past couple of months, I've been doing smart work, not harder work, and you know what? My business has grown more than ever, so I just want to enjoy my life. I want to earn good money. I want to travel. I just want to do everything that I've mentioned in this video. So uh, if you did like this video, please leave a like below. Subscribe if you're new. I hope you found some value out of it. Um, Put your comments down below with what your goals are for the year. I know this is a bit of a longer one, but again, this isn't just for you guys. This is a little bit for me because I want to look back on this at the end of the year to see if we've hit our goals, if we've surpassed them, uh, if we've completely flopped on them. Uh, it would be interesting to see where we are, guys. I've got faith. Make 2018 your year. I know for a fact uh, it's going to be a good one for me this year. Take care of yourself, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. We've got a brand new video coming. Take care of yourself.